All right, welcome to LearnWire. I have a couple updates with Insta keywords to show you. We're going to be jumping in right now. You can actually get this tool for a one time fee. It's on LTD. If you click the link below, uh, I'll leave it as the first link below. You'll find this page right here. It's going to explain all the different things about the tool and some of the case studies and so forth. I've been using this tool for a couple months now. It's uh, quickly became my favorite keyword research tool because it goes out and live searches for, it looks up keywords that are actually being searched for um, in Google, but then it also gives you uh, the search volume that is extremely accurate. Um, I'm finding that it's 90 to 100% accurate. Um, it goes along with Google Keywords Planner. So you know you're getting um, at least accurate search volume from what Google's telling us. Um, and then you get the cost per click, the co competition trends, all kinds of good stuff. But just to show you that you can only get this uh, tool for the current price through this link right here. This was created. Uh, normally, this is uh, $468 per, per year. But right now, we have it on sale for $67. You can see right here, David Mills customers. This is only a unique offer that you can get below. No one else is actually, this isn't actually live um, out there for other people to sell it at this. Uh, only a couple unique affiliates are able to offer this um, at this price. So if you wanna go pick it up, the link will be below. And right now it's currently on sale. This is not going to last forever. The sale will go away. And so you can go pick this up for $67 one time. Now, what's really cool is that I um, am in conversation with the product owner and we go back and forth with emails and I have made suggestions and they've always added the new features. And so that's what I wanted to show you about in this video. So we're on Insta keywords right now and um, they've really developed the filtering system and so forth. So like right now, if I wanted to go with golf, we just go with something broad and we could do um, get suggestions, right? And if you're going into a niche market and you're creating websites, this is a perfect tool because it's going to go out there and you can just continue to load results right here. It's going to load these results live. It's going to go out there and find the most relevant um, keywords that you can use um, in building your new website, right? Now, keep in mind, um, it is going to find like right here, Midland, Texas, but there's a lot of Albuquerque stuff right here because I live in the Albuquerque um, and New Mexico area. So like right here, this is a town in um, New Mexico as well. So it's going to uh, give you a lot of, now I don't know as far as settings, it would be cool if they allowed us to kind of put in a settings where we uh, want to get more relevant local uh, results. But for now, it's going to be stuff that's close to you but we can just keep going through right and adding more keywords and i usually like to exhaust this it's a little different than other keyword tools that go out and kind of just find all these keywords with the one click you i guess that is one of the um things that you have to get used to is that you do have to go in here and load more results uh, manually by left clicking on load more results anytime you want to you can actually come in here and push the plus button golf video games and it's gonna go out and show you more. I'll show you that in a second. I don't wanna lose my place right here. So I'll just show you what I like to do with my workflow. We're gonna come through here. And usually with something that's this popular, it'll pull about 200 to 300 keywords. Um, you can see it's gotten into numbers right here. So we're pretty much done with the alphabet. So I'm gonna come back up here and I'm gonna show you a new feature that they just added. So we can come back up here, we can go and add a filter and they've added all these filters in right here. Um, like if you're only looking for game, you could actually type in game right here. And so only uh, golf um, that is going to have game in it is going to uh, appear. But we can come over here and actually look at the competition. So they've actually added in um, the filter. I just asked them to do this uh, about three days ago and they added it to the software. So you can come over here to competition and let's say you only want to look at great keywords. So now it's filtered it by only the great keywords, the ones that um, are going to be easiest to rank for. So you have a whole list right there, which is super cool. So you can filter it by that. You can also filter it by uh, maybe uh, the good ones as well and so forth, right? So maybe you'd want to go with g uh, great, good and fair, right? Or um, what I like to do is also, what I like to do is um, look at the no traffic. So all these ones can be gold mines uh, right here, the ones that have no traffic, um, you can rank for these very quickly, okay? 
and then um, you'll see some that just are a void. Very hard. You want to stay away from those ones as well. And so what you can do is also, um, if you're just on the fly trying to create, um, I would use this uh, new filter if you're just on the fly and you want to find um, a good keyword, right? Um, another thing that you could do is come in here to great keyword. You can also um, look at maybe the max ones up here and say, golfers elbow symptoms that might be kind of a good one right here but um, let's push this plus button and it's going to open up even more long tail keywords so this is uh, the ultimate long tail keyword tool because then we're going to come in here can golfers elbow be cured right here this would be a good one you can also look at trends at any time you want to you can just pull the trends so this one shows that golfers elbow symptoms nhs i don't know what that means but this one's trending up that would be a good keyword to go for so you um, another keyword right here golfers elbow pain location right here boom it's really really trending up and so forth so you can see a massive trend spike right here as well golfers elbow symptoms this is a good niche to get into because we're going into summer as well camping golf summer sports summer hobbies are going to be good uh, niches to get into for the summertime but just keep in mind you'd probably want to balance that with also a winter sports type website or a winter's hobby or something like that um, so when to kind of offset if you will something that you can do is we can push the back button and we'll go and look at um, all again all right, so we're going to be looking at a bunch of keywords right here. And then another thing that I like to do is using this tool is just come over here to the export feature right here. And we'll say golf right here and push OK. It's going to export it as a CSV file. Remember, you can get this for $67 right now. At the time of recording this video, that price will not stay the same forever. Um, and then you only have to pay it one time and you get this uh, keyword research tool. So the way it works, too, is um, it's it's not like it doesn't, I don't think that it has like a database of keywords. It's actually going out and doing some type of live search. And so it's different than other keyword tools that only update every month or two months. And they have this massive database of keywords um, built into the tool. Um, that is fine. And that um, has a purpose as well. But right here, I believe we're looking at real live results. And that's why we're dealing with a lot less keywords, if that makes sense. So then what you can do is you can actually um, go in here. Let me uh, zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see what's going on here. I'll clean this up a little bit, show you what I do, and then I'll just kind of bold this. And then what we can do is you can actually go and put a filter on right here. You can also sort this um, by search volume. So I'm going to go like this. We can go to data, we can go sort, and then we can add a sort by volume, and we can go um, largest to smallest, okay. And then here are going to be your ones that don't have any. So you'd want to probably create um, content on those right there. But then you can come in here and also go with competition right here. And you can look at just good and great and push OK. And so hovering over this, we have 116 keywords that we can now go and create content on. Right. So that's one really cool way to use the tool. Another cool thing that you can do is use Google Trends, come over to Google Trends, go to Explore, and then let's say for one of my money blogs, um, I would say make money and push enter. And then we'd see what's trending right now for the keyword make money. And so we have how did Android Andrew Tate make his money? How much money did Top Gun Maverick make? Let's click on that one. And then I'll go ahead um, and highlight that one, come back into Insta Keywords. And then what we can do is we can go with new search, and we'll just put that keyword in right here and push generate suggestions. And then it's going to actually give us a bunch of different variations of this keyword right here. And it's even like, right, how much did it cost to make um, Top Gun? So here's all these keywords. We could actually favorite these as well by push pushing the heart button right here. Um, all these different topics, right? So um, you can start building these mini silos based off of all these long tail keywords. Now look at all these giant long tail keywords right here, right? You write content on that very specifically, You're probably gonna have a pretty good chance of ranking. So what we could do is go over to one uh, like hypotenuse over here and we could throw in our keyword and we can create the outline right there. And then we can come back over and look at some of these other ones. So how much money did it cost? Uh, maybe I want to add this one as well. So I'm going to copy that. So it, it um, hypotenuse brought in some really good ones, but we're going to add a couple more headings. We're going to get specific right there. And then we're going to say how much um, did Tom Cruise make? So that's the next, next really good 
uh, thing to because we I don't see Tom Cruise in here so that's great so we can go and add that one in as well and I think that's pretty good and then maybe in its first week how much did it make in its first week as well because we have the overall box office and so forth but maybe people want to know how much it made the first week so we'll add that in as well and then we'll say next and then we'll say uh, generate article in hypotenuse Okay, I have my VA using the software and I didn't assign myself any credits. You actually can control how many credits you give to your VAs versus yourself. So we're going to go ahead and select all and generate article. Okay, got the credit thing um, situated. So it's writing our uh, blog post for us. Okay, so we're finding some, let's see right here. I want to take this main keyword we're going to try to rank for. And we're just going to find an image, um, something that's licensable. And um, so I went and found uh, the ones that are Creative Commons. Not ideal image, but at least we will be able to, to use it. And it is relevant. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that keyword in right there. Save. And maybe there will be just a couple others that we want to use. Maybe <laughs> someone watching it so they actually can take a picture and then license it. Um, we'll just use that one as well. And this one's pretty cool right here as well. So we have a few images. So back to hypotenuse and we have an 1800 word article right here and let's see right here i want to go and see so so always check facts right over here so like right here we're looking at 719 million in the us and canada 1.5 billion worldwide with 719 million being generated in the us and canada so um 1.5 billion and 719 million we'll come back over here uh, the movie is estimated to have made over $700 million in the total revenue from, so, I mean, it's, there's a lot of, uh, information going on right there. Um, and so you'd want to go and fact check, especially since this is num numbers based, right? We've got our article right here. And of course you want to go in here with something like this and go and fix, um, some of the stats, but for fun, we'll copy that. We'll go over to one of my websites and just show you how easily you can po publish, um, your post. Everything looks good. Hypotenuse is great. Go grab our title real quick. Add our images. And we'll just add a couple more images. And then you just push publish and you are good to go. So I just wanted to show you guys the some of the updates with the tool. It's really cool that we can now add filters and we can look at the competition um, and look at only the ones that are great and are or good inside of the tool. Um, if you have a bunch of keywords that you're looking at, then you're going to want to use the export uh, CSV and then you're going to want to just use this right here, um, your list of keywords right there. So that's it. Just wanted to show you guys Insta keywords right now. Um, it's available for just $67 one time. All right. See you next video.